how to convert WordPress website to Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can convert your WordPress website to Shopify. Now, one thing to note is that I'm going to give you guys a big disclaimer on direct conversion because a lot of people are going to say you can directly convert your store, your WordPress site into a store. Well, that is just simply not possible at the current development of Shopify and WordPress. The reason for that is WordPress is a really diverse builder. On WordPress, you can build a blog, a website, a store, a portfolio, a landing page. You can build a lot more than that as well. And WordPress is highly, highly, highly customizable. It's one of the most customizable tools to build a website. Whereas, in contrast, if I talk about my Shopify store or Shopify in general, Shopify is very pre-designed. There's not a lot of customization in terms of a website development that you can do. Shopify has a very specific template that they follow. Their code is structured in a simple way. Their categories are made. They have products that display in the products. They have one specific section for blogs and you can't write blogs otherwise. And they have pre-existing values that you can input in designated boxes not as customizable as WordPress. So with that in mind, how can you still convert your WordPress site into Shopify? Well, you will have to use a third-party application and it is called cart to cart So Cart2Cart is a tool that is a advanced e-commerce migration service, which will allow you to migrate from WordPress to Shopify. Now, another thing to note, is you can only convert your WordPress WooCommerce into Shopify. So if you're creating your portfolio in WordPress, there's no real way or reason to actually convert that into Shopify. Whereas if you're running a WooCommerce store on WordPress and now you want to migrate to Shopify, that is possible with WordPress and Shopify using cart to cart So how can we use cart to cart well, to use cart to cart the first step you have to do is you have to go into your Shopify store, click on settings on the bottom left, then click on apps and sales channels on the bottom left once more. Once you do that, click on Shopify app store on the top right. And once you open up your Shopify app store, what you're going to do is you are going to go on ahead and search for cart to cart. And once you search for cart to cart, you should be able to find the application. It's this one over here. This is the cart to cart store migration app. So you're going to click on this application over here and the developer should say cart to cart. So click on install over here to install this plugin into your Shopify store. Now, another disclaimer here. Although cart to cart is a very, very trusted migration service, it still poses a risk where you're allowing people to, you know, basically use your, you know, info and you are providing, you know, a lot of website info. So you might have a couple of glitches or some blocks that might not be resolved as nicely as they would had you created them directly in Shopify. Now, once we have completed our integration, a new tab will open up. This is the tab that's going to open up. It will say my migrations on your cart to cart application. So once you do that, you're going to click on create new migration on the top right. And once you do that, if you haven't signed up, I already have used this application. So I have an account. If you don't have an account, you can just sign up with your Shopify email address. And then you're going to choose your source cart. So for us, the source is going to be WooCommerce. So just search for WooCommerce over here. And a lot of you might say, hey, why can't I use WordPress? For WordPress, you only have the WordPress eStore plugin, which no one really uses. Most people use WooCommerce. And then once you open up WooCommerce, you're going to copy the URL from your store of your WordPress store and paste that over here. Now I'm going to, once I've pasted that over here, I'm going to see if I have to, yeah, I have to add my HTTP and then you have your admin login. So your admin login is 
basically your WordPress login that you use. And you're going to add your password over here. Once you do that, you have, I want to upload bridge using FTP or manually. So before you can actually import into your Shopify store, you do have to install a bridge into your WordPress site as well. The plugin on Shopify is serving as a connector and you do have to use a plugin for your Shopify store. And what you're going to do is you're going to add your Shopify URL as well. And then you're going to go on ahead and click on choose entities. And then after that, it is going to start connecting to your store. This can take a longer time depending on how large your website data is. Obviously, if you have hundreds and thousands of videos or images in your WordPress site, then it's going to take a longer time. If you don't have that long or that much data in your WordPress site, it's not going to take as much time. However, one thing to note is that with any cart migration or any type of migration using this third party app, you might have certain issues like your products might not you know fit perfectly in the shopify templates and you might have to make a revision edit later on that is something that i want all of you guys to expect because realistically every time i have used this application i have had to make some minor adjustments to the end product that it gives you we're gonna wait for cart to cart to open up it is lagging behind a little and you guys can see you can you know even go into their home page and choose the cart to cart migration you want to do so we can go from woocommerce to shopify like this click on try for free and you can add your email address and you only have to pay for what you migrate you don't have to pay a lot on cart to cart you can do one website for free and depending on the number of products number of customers or orders you have you can really do this for free if you're not you know uh, running a super large store you don't have the necessity to import any other thing so this way you can basically import all of the basics from your woocommerce slash wordpress site onto your actual shopify store and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with importation of data from wordpress onto shopify it's not a direct method and it's not something that is going to be really seamless but it's way better than having to manually input data all over again now if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say